Hello, Serena Group. Uh, today I want to show you how to uh, access your Zip Forms account through CAR uh, and transfer your information from your CAR account to your new Serena Group Zip Form. So we're going to start out by going to the CAR website, which is where many of you guys access your current Zip Forms accounts. Once we are there, we will go through the normal process of clicking Zip Form here. And that uh, expanded into an area that was a little too large for you guys to see. Uh, so we'll go ahead and sign in with our CAR credentials. It will go through the process of launching our Zip Forms account, uh, which we can access. And this should look very, very familiar to you. Once in this system, you'll see that I have um, these transactions in here. So I don't have a whole bunch of transactions. Um, and so this makes the process a little bit easier. But what you'll do is you'll go to the export button up top here. You'll click that. You will then select all. Uh, or if you have a whole bunch of transactions, you may want to break this up into smaller bunches, uh, maybe 20 to 25 transactions each. Otherwise, you may run into import errors with timing out um, on the, the files. Uh, but in this case, if you don't have a whole bunch, you can select all, and then you can go ahead and click export. And then you can go ahead and export the zip form content, which is your transaction and notes, checklist, and history. And you can also export the zip vault content if you have any as well. Then go ahead and hit the export button. And this process will run, and it will actually download the uh, files uh, onto the location that you specify. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and specify my desktop. And I'll hit save. And you will see um, it download into uh, Chrome here in the lower left hand corner. Uh, and you can go ahead and leave it. It should be on your desktop. And you can go ahead and access it from there. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down uh, my Zip Forms uh, account in CAR. I'll go ahead and hit exit. And then what I am going to do uh, is uh, shut down this tab that was in my Zip Forms account. And I'm going to go ahead and open up a new tab, go to my serenogroup.com bookmarks, go down to Sereno Zip Forms account. And from here, I'm going to log in using the login information that was given to me um, by uh, my administrator. In this case, it told me I can't log in here. If you get that error message, it means that you likely have to um, access through Chrome uh, or, or reset Chrome. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, X out of here. And then I am going to reopen uh, Chrome. And I'll go ahead and resize it for you. Um, I think what should have happened is we should have signed out of the um, previous session. So in this case, I'm going to now go to the serenagroup.com bookmarks, go to Sereno Zip Forms account, and it should then allow me to sign in. Now in this case, I have used Chrome to save my password and uh, login information. So you'll go ahead and hit sign in. And it's going to log into CAR and check against your um, membership information. And then you'll have to hit continue to zip forms here. And then you'll see that my new zip forms account, especially if you haven't used it, uh, is has no transactions in it. So all of those transactions that were in my other account, uh, I need to migrate over to this account. Now, uh, the way that you do that is use the import function here. You will then browse. You will locate the file that you saved, which is the transactions zipped. Uh, and that will be located in my case on the desktop. And then you will hit open and then hit OK. And it's going to say you've selected one or more zip files. Would you like to import all the documents? Um, you would say yes. And what this will do is import all of those other transactions into your uh, Sereno uh, account. The process can take uh, a little bit of time. If for some reason it times out, it means that you've selected too many files 
uh, and you should select fewer and, and break it up into segments. The other thing you can do is just select maybe your last you know, 25 transactions um, and just use go ahead and use those going forward and then you know you can access your other ones in the car account if you ever need them. Uh, the nice thing about using um, the transactions for buyers um, and other um, tra transactions that you're working on that are similar um, is you can actually copy uh, the transaction to a new transaction keeping the same document. So if you're writing multiple offers with one client, uh, it helps you to be able to uh, transfer information from one place to uh, another quickly and be able to write a new offer without having to refill all of the information. Now this process, once again, takes a few minutes. And as you can see here, all the transactions that were previously in my other account are also now here in my new account. Now, the other thing that we wanted to discuss uh, was with regard to uh, DocuSign trans uh, integration. And that can be done up here. We'll go ahead and create a separate video for that. But now your, all of your transactions are in the system here and you'll be able to access them as you would in your previous account. Have a great day.